So in our last video, we talked about the second order homogeneous differential equation. We tried to solve it using the exponential guess method using the repeated roots. Today we will talk about the exponential guess method using uh, having two or three distinct roots in the equation. We talked before that the general form of a second order homogeneous differential equation is in the form of y double prime plus p of x y prime plus q of x y equals zero. Then we said to, to use the exponential guess method, you should have the p of x and the q of x as constants. In this case, a and b. a represents replaces the p of x, b replaces the q of x. As you can notice here, a and b are constants again. Okay, now let's take an example. Um, so let's have an example in the case of exponential guess with distinct roots. Okay, the example say solve y double prime minus y prime minus 6 multiplied by y equals 0. In this case, as we can notice, we have the p of x as constant minus 1, uh, q of x is constant b which is minus 6 in this case, and the other side of the equation equals 0 which means a homogeneous equation. Okay, now we will convert this equation um, in terms of lambda. So we said we have y double prime so let's say uh, a variable lambda instead of y double prime we can say lambda squared minus lambda to the power one since we have here y prime minus six equals zero solving this equation this quadratic equation gives you two different values for lambda. Lambda 1, if you try to solve it, would equal 3, and lambda 2 would equal minus 2. All right? Now, the general solution for the case of two distinct roots for exponential guess method solution would be in the following form. Final general solution would be equal to y equals c1 e to the power of lambda 1 x plus c2 multiplied by e to the power of lambda 2 x. If we use that in our current question, so we have lambda 1 equal 3, lambda 2 minus 2. So in this case, the final solution is y equal constant c1 e to the power of lambda 1 x, lambda 1 in this case 3, so e to the power of 3x plus c2 e to the power lambda 2 is minus 2 multiplied by x. So y equals c1 e to the power of 3x plus c2 multiplied by e to the power of lambda 2x which is e to the power of minus 2x. And as simple as that this is the final solution of our example. 